Elliot and Jose coming to you from Dreamline Comics in Schaumburg, Illinois here on CCW TV. We've had... <laughs> Um, oh, you just wait till <clears throat> two weeks. That's when the Tony Daniel Batman comes out. It's going to come out at the end of this month. It's going to be two issues of Batman this month, and one of them is going to be Tony Daniel. Uh, well, I'll, I won't even be in town then, so th I, I guess I'm spared that. Um, had a pretty good uh, Batman review that sagged into a Tony Daniel uh, rant. So, hey, you know, two for one. People got bonus on that one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but let's switch gears and go into the Marvel Universe. And talk about Daredevil. Uh, number, what number is it? Why don't you ever look at the numbers? You do this every fucking time. Because you grab it. You grab it before I get it. But you read it and you can't even look at the numbers. It's 501. <laughs> Daredevil 501. The first Andy Diggle issue with uh, artwork by Actually, Robert Actually, it's not really the first Andy Diggle issue. The first Andy Diggle issue was the, the, list. the list. The list. Which right. was completely pointless. That should have been Daredevil number 501. But, uh. all right. That's, we already had that discussion. It's the Thunderbolts team mm -hmm. that we enjoyed so much. Now taking over Daredevil. <clears throat> I know a lot of folks were a little bit annoyed that Brubaker was dropping Daredevil. <laughs> and moving on to something well, else. Well, I'll tell you what, man. Brubaker dropping Daredevil actually made me pick up Daredevil. Like This is the, this is the first Daredevil book <clears throat> I bought. Wow. And actually read in a long time. I, didn't read, I read some of the Brubaker stuff. I didn't buy it. But it got kind of bored. And I didn't like any of the Bendis stuff. So it's been a long time since I yeah. bought an issue of Daredevil. And, and this <clears> team <throat> got me to buy it. Well, and surprisingly, it's really good. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, not surprisingly. For those who wanted to uh, complain that uh, Brubaker was leaving the book, Diggle does a nice job of stepping in, of course, to Delator, whose moody artwork Very on moody. Thunderbolts was so, I mean, that I loved. But is um, there is anyone more emo than Thunderbolts? It's Daredevil. It's Daredevil, yeah. Because I'm telling you, Matt Murdock is pulling total emo here. <laughs> you know, I like this. That was the one thing that kind of annoyed me is that Dare. I mean, he but he's always been like that. Yeah. Like, that's why hasn't true. Matt Murdock like killed himself yet? <laughs> because it's like, it's like, I haven't read this character in years, and I come back, and he's just the same old sour push. No, you, you know, boom, boom, boom. It's the so. Frank. It's the Frank Miller. I mean, here's the thing. First. They've tried making him the cheerful daredevil of the original Stan Lee run. Mm -hmm. Okay, they've tried doing it, and people hated it. People didn't want it. They they rejected it. They said, "Forget it." Other writers have tried going back to the original. People preferred the Frank Miller, tortured, um, full of Catholic guilt, daredevil. That's one. And this is, I mean, I'm sorry. And we which is a... fine in small doses, but like to totally saturate. The comic yeah, like yeah, that now, it's yeah. just like, oh, it's too much. It's like, ugh. Well, and it's everything from the dialogue to the artwork to everything. And if that's what they were going for, well, they succeeded. I'm, I'm just saying, oh, like, yeah. that was my number one, like, nitpick was like, man, Matt Murdock hasn't fucking changed at all. Yeah. Well, the thing, too, I mean, I, I'll give Andy Diggle this. I mean, if he is going towards the themes, I mean, Daredevil's always had these religious themes mm -hmm. that run through it. And, and it starts again here. Andy Diggle mm -hmm. doesn't, you know... This doesn't ignore that. If if he's talking about Matt Murdock is in his own personal hell, that's where Murdock is right now. He's yeah. in his personal hell. But I, it, that's not to say that the book isn't good. I mean, again, yeah, Murdock is very moody. He's very emo. Um, there's all this theme. The first few, pa few pages, Murdock is sitting up on a, on a building and he's being baptized by the rains of hell's kitchen yeah, and it was really subtle <clears throat> yeah it's all i mean again it's really it's it yeah it's really it hits you with the hammer but delator's artwork is just it so is. good you know you're not gonna go oh whoa, this is boring no it's really it evokes some great moods and <clears throat> and then there's a little twist here in the in the beginning where um where you find out what daredevil needs to do to be accepted as the leader of the hand, mm -hmm. which um, for for being the first Daredevil book I've, I've also picked up in a while, I was kind of um, I was taken aback by that. I was like, "Whoa, oh wow!" Now now Matt Murdock is going in a direction I haven't seen him go in before. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I, I mean, for a while there, when I found out that Matt Murdock was going to become the leader of the hand, it it made sense. But we've also seen Matt Murdock as the head of Hell's Kitchen before, too. Did that in the middle of the Bendis run, when Murdock was supposed to be the, the kingpin. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and then that, but again, that went nowhere though. It just oh, amazed me how it went nowhere. It. Yeah, I know it went nowhere. I was that's when I just I dropped um, Daredevil because at that point it's like, oh, great idea, no payoff. No. Anyway, anyway, going into this, you're. Uh, I think if you've never picked up a Daredevil book before, um, if let's say you decided to jump on board with Andy Diggle, mm-hmm. this book brought me up to speed pretty well. Nicely. It does, and and plus it, it gives you a nice. <clears throat> Again, it gives you actually a nice um, rundown of what's actually been mm. going on in Daredevil, like in the front page. So, yeah, if you want to, like, start buying Daredevil now, like, this is the issue to do it. That's a good jumping on it point, is. yeah. I mean, even 500, uh, even if that's kind of when he took over the hand. So, if, if you could find 500 and you want to pay the five bucks for it, you know, I'd say go ahead and do that. But you don't really need that. You can just buy this one and start up fresh on a new story and... And to me, Daredevil being the leader of the hand just makes sense to me. It, it, this is, it's the next step in the evolution of the character from, again, from the beginning Frank Miller days. So for those who might find this a bit of a stretch, I really don't. And I, I mean, I read Daredevil when Frank Miller drew, uh, wrote and drew it back in the 80s. So mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> the only thing I'm not getting right now is this whole Lady Bullseye thing. You know, I don't know. Her ass is showing there. I thought it was supposed to be covered. And it was her costume. Is that her costume? I swear it looks like she's, you know, just wrapped barely. And, and um, and of course, Wilson Fisk is in there. I, there, He's not blind anymore, I take it. He was blinded at the end of the whole, um, I think in the Bendis run, he was supposed to be blind. But I guess not. You know, yeah, anyway. As far as this book goes, though, Diggle, I think, is a very... Um, we, we had talked about it before. Why did Brubaker leave the book? Mm-hmm. Because Brubaker just didn't want to do it anymore. Why was Andy Diggle put on the book? Because the editor wanted him there. You see now why they want him. Why that editor wanted to, uh, Diggle on this book. Because he can just handle that world very well. No, yeah, no, I agree. It was very, it was, it was well done, and I'll be picking this up for the next couple of months to see how it goes. See how it goes, and if, if T- Delator can stay on the book, yes, and and just give do some consistent work, just do you know get it, put a nice run together. Yeah, I'm 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 on board with this book too. If they start switching artists though in the middle, like they did with Thunderbolts, mm-hmm. you know, and Thunderbolts kind of like started yeah, then, losing, and then Delator would come out and he would do like he would do like half of an issue. And then someone else will do the other half of the issue. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we'll see. But it's a really good book. And if you're, again, mad that Brew Baker left the book, trust me. This is, uh, Diggle is very capable at handling this, uh, this type of material. And um, it's a fun book. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. You just want to get depressed. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> you're feeling too cheerful. We're going we're gonna to bring you down here. That's like a Zoloft right there. Yeah. A little Zoloft. <laughs> when we come back, we're actually going to review a book that some of you out there asked us to take a look at. Hope to see you then. <laughs> 